Recently, I've been quite thrilled with the words of Isaiah 45 and verse 22. It's a picture of God standing, calling out to the whole human race, to the whole world. And he says, look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. And then he adds, for I am God and there is no other. If you're going to be saved, you have to go to the Lord for it. There's nowhere else to go. No other religion, no other savior. And this idea of looking to him, that is looking away from yourself and your own efforts, looking away from your own philosophies, your own religion, your your own rules and regulations, and look to the person who is the Savior. And I was reading in a book of anecdotes by D.L. Moody, and he was visiting in Belfast and had a friend who was a doctor, and this doctor was telling him about one of the leading surgeons in the city. And of course, this was in the days before anesthetic. And so this surgeon would say to the person, take a good look at your wound. In other words, see that you need help, okay? Take a good look at your wound and then fix your eyes on me and don't take your eyes off me until I say the operation's finished. Well, I'm glad we have anesthetic now and we don't have to keep our eye on the surgeon, grit our teeth and hang on until the surgery's done. But this idea of looking at our need and then looking at the one who can meet our need is exactly the idea behind this beautiful expression of the gospel. My friend, Tony Sashariba, who's recently gone to heaven, he would use this in talking to people about the Lord. And he would say, do you know that I know for sure I'm going to heaven? And they would ask, well, how do you know that? And he would say, on the basis of my good looks. And he'd always get a smile. And they'd say, your good looks? And he'd say, yes. I had a good look at myself. And I realized I was a sinner. <laughs> the kind of sinner that, that was so far gone, he needed somebody to help him. And I had a good look at the Savior, Jesus, and I realized he was exactly the kind of helper I needed. And, and that's how I am sure of heaven. Because in the words of this scripture, look to me and be saved. It's a look of faith. There's an old gospel song, look and live look and live. And that's the message of scripture, to look and live. Look to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. So we look at ourselves and we see our desperate need, and then we look away to Christ and realize he's the savior of sinners just like us. May the Lord encourage us perhaps to share this gospel message. I've done it quite a few times in the last few weeks, and you always get the response. These people, they, they put a smile on their face. It's like the raspberry jam that helps the medicine go down. When you say, I'm going to get to heaven on the basis of my good looks, and then you explain it, and you can see the truth sinking in. Have you had a good look at yourself? And have you had a good look a look of faith to the Lord Jesus, to look away from yourself and look to him. Look to me and be saved all the ends of the earth.